We turn now to the arrest tonight after a string of fires that destroyed several churches with African-American congregations. Three historic churches were destroyed in just 10 days. A 21-year-old man is now in custody tonight and charged with arson, and it turns out he is the son of a local sheriff's deputy who was stunned but who helped authorities prepare for the arrest. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in St. Landry Parish tonight. 21-year-old Holden Matthews is being held without bond tonight. Police say that his father, a St. Landry Parish Sheriff's deputy, broke down into tears when he learned it was his son accused of burning three black churches here to the ground. Holden's father is an employee of mine, a fine man. He was shocked and hurt, as any father would be. The clue that led federal and state investigators to the deputy's son was a red gas can found at the third fire on April 4th. All stations, we have a church on fire. Authorities trace that can to a local Walmart and say that receipts and surveillance videos show Matthews buying the tools he needed to start the fires. They say surveillance video shows him driving his father's gold pickup truck at each location. At the second fire here at Greater Union Baptist, he's seen coming back to watch as firefighters risk their lives. We are better than this, and this is a reflection of one depraved individual. On his Facebook page, police found that Matthews is a fan of black metal, a version of heavy metal where the bands are often anti-Christian and sometimes neo-Nazi. We saw an immediate threat to public safety. We felt that other crimes were imminent. The pastor at Mount Pleasant says the arrest is heaven sent. I'm elated. I'm happy. I'm good. I, I think I'm, I'll be able to sleep tonight. And Steve Osinsami joins us live. And authorities are still working to determine a motive. I know, Steve, but revealing the suspect's father, that sheriff's deputy, as you reported there, did help with the arrest of his son? That's right, David. The deputy worked with his boss to get his son out of the home so that they could make the arrest without hurting, one, hurting anyone else inside the home. He has not yet entered a plea in this case at this time. I'm standing in the middle of what's left of the first church he's accused of burning down. It's nearly 150 years old, and they're promising to rebuild. David? Just awful. All right, Steve Osinsami tonight. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.